All right. Hugo and the Jungle of Doom. <laughs> What's up, Overlord? Yep, we uh, we chit chat for quite a while. Usually, we chit chatted for quite a quite a long time. Uh, this is going to be a shorter stream, um, so I wanted to do a little bit more chit chat before we started. Um, okay. Oh, we're starting. There, I mean, it's just like, boom, let's go. Guys. I feel like it's very low volume. It might get louder. Every installment with you is a musical with me randomly bursting into song. Love it. I am a musical. <laughs> oh, Ed Poe! Thank you so much for those peaches. I do appreciate it. Hope you're doing well today, my friend. Welcome, welcome. You were just in time. It's, it is kind of like Donkey Kong, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, it's, it is steel drums. <laughs> okay, I've got my uh, my pad of paper. I'm going to draw little pictures of all of the uh, the items that we pick up. Keep track of our inventory. All right. Um, now, before we start here, um, there might come a point where we need like a game guide or something. Um, but as far as like spoilers, backseat gaming, that kind of thing, um, I want us to try to figure this game out and solve its puzzles and figure out what to do together um, naturally. Um, if we get super stuck and have no clue what to do and I say, okay, can somebody look up what to do? What's the next step? Then you can go and look up like a guide or something. Um, but, uh, but until then, I don't want any hints. I don't want any like, you know, someone looking, going and Googling the answers. Okay. I want us to all try and figure this game out together. All right. I can see Alaska from here. <laughs> Okay, Hugo and Penelope are returning home from their vacation at the cottage of Great Uncle Horace. Suddenly, a freak magnetic storm causes the compass in their light aircraft to spin wildly. Unable to navigate, Hugo loses all sense of direction. Damn it, Hugo. Wow. Finally, hopelessly lost over a South American jungle, the plane better than in the ocean, uh, the plane about to run out of gas, Hugo spots a clearing just big enough to land it. With, fig with fingers clenching the controls, he shouts, Hold on, Penelope! We're going down! This is intense, you guys. This is intense! Well, we made it, says Penelope with relief as she and Hugo survey the crash site. I think I'll go off and explore a little. She can do Best thing to do once your plane crashes. I'm gonna go off by myself and explore this jungle in South America. Oh, Penelope. Well, don't wander too far, warns Hugo. I'll inspect the airplane while you're gone. Okay, honey, calls Penelope as she heads into the jungle in her high-heeled green shoes. And for goodness sake, change your clothes. They clash terribly with the scenery, she laughs. She's just like, ha! Ah, we crash landed in the jungle. This is great. Hmm, nothing much exciting happening here. Lots of trees and things. Some pretty flowers. Cute spider's web. She thinks the spider web is cute. <laughs> the dog suddenly shows up and eats you. Hmm, wonder how Hugo's doing fixing the plane. It's been like 30 seconds, lady. Oh, there's a spider! Is gonna bite her? <laughs> Chomp! <laughs> that scream! Help! Help! Hugo hears the faint cries for help and rushes to the rescue. Look at him! He's he's Hugo Jones. A young native girl who happened to be passing by rushes onto the scene. Oh, sorry, guys. I didn't know there was going to be nudity in this game. I saw the whole... Th <laughs> I'm going to disrespect someone here. 
I saw the whole thing. Your friend has been bitten by a dreaded tree spider. I'm afraid there is only one antidote, and it must be administered within 48 hours. Do you have this antidote? Hugo asks. This is like a lot of story, starting out this game. No, the only thing that can save your friend is water from a place we call the Pool of Life. It lies in a secret garden beyond the waterfall. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, along yonder path. Okay, the pool of life. We need to get her water. I will tend to your friend while you fetch the special water. Now go, hurry. <laughs> the native girl points to the path behind her. Well, looks like it's up to you, old buddy. Better get going and find the antidote. All right. Put a coconut bra on this lady. <laughs> she did. <laughs> Sorry, Penelope dies. Hugo has major sunburn. <laughs> she wants to steal her high heels. Okay, so first of all, let's look around. You can see a path to the left heading off into the jungle. To the right lies the clearing where you crash landed. There is no sign of the spider. Oh, look, we gotta look for the spider. Let's talk to her again. Talk. You get no reply. She's just like, will you go help your, help your wife? Um, pick up Penelope. Poor Penelope cannot be moved at the moment. Your best bet is to do as the native girl told you and fetch the water. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back to my plane first because I think there's supplies in the plane. First of all, let's look. You are in a clearing surrounded by impenetrable, impenetrable, impenetrable jungle. The only exit is via a small path to the left. Ha. <clears throat> ah. The contents of the plane become a bit jumbled, became a bit jumbled during the forced landing. However, you can make out the cockpit seats and instruments, which still be, appear to be okay. You can also see some clay, some pins, a water flask, good, and boolean cubes, and a sandwich. My goodness, okay. Can I just say pick up stuff? Pick up everything. I don't understand. Okay, pick up, I think I can say get. Um, pick up cubes. Picked up the boolean cubes, okay. Boolean cube. Uh, get clay uh, get flask okay um, get I forgot what else was there sand sandwich okay we got a sandwich God, these are the most terrible drawings. And then what else was here? Pins. Okay. Oh, it said needles. A needle is different than a pin. All right, here's my drawings. I got those are those are what, that's what we got right there. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> um, Da Vinci, I I downloaded this from uh, GOG. Do you say GOG or GOG? Um, Atomic actually gave me the, the link. It's like six bucks for all three games. Um, and so it's it's not running in a browser. If you run DOS games in browsers, they do have a lot of slowdown. You're right. But so far, um, the this this version from GOG has, has all three games have run, run perfectly. No, 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 I don't want to quit the game. I want to get out of the plane. There we go. Okay. I feel like I'm at a tropical resort, not like, your girlfriend's dying, you gotta go get her. <laughs> Prezi Chan approves of the drawings. It's like Blue's Clues. <laughs> Boolean? How do you say, oh, you're gonna make fun of how I say Boolean cube? No, the way I say bull. How do we say it? 
How do you say? I've always said Boolean. I don't know if that's even right. Is no one gonna dance with me in Peachy? Yes. Thank you, Atomic. Yeah, there it is. Okay, look. You are on a jungle path which gently slopes up to the left. <laughs> Obuyan? Obuyan? Boyan? You said it right? Oh! Uh. Looking down into the chasm, you can see a fast running stream far below. There appears to be a path crossing the stream, but there is no way to get down the sides of the chasm from here. The bridge looks a bit dubious. Hmm. Okay. So that's the stream that we have to get the water from, but there's no way to get down there from here. And the bridge looks a little shaky. Well, I don't think there's anything. Use clay on bridge. No. <laughs> Give bridge sandwich. Watch out, the bridge doesn't look like it would support your weight. The ropes are starting to fray at the ends. Oh no. Uh. Bridge looks like it's starting to fray at the ends. Or the ropes? Uh. <laughs> Swing across like Tarzan. Swing on vines. You can't swing across because the vines don't go all the way across the chasm. Perhaps you could use them in another way. Ooh. Get vines. What do you want to do with the vines? Use vines on bridge. Uh, tie vines to bridge. You tie the vine onto the rope to strengthen it. The bridge looks like it would support you now. Shoot! Yes! Score! Crumph! As you leave the chasm, you hear the sound of the bridge collapsing behind you. Dun dun dun! <laughs> Fix bridge! <laughs> <clears throat> oh dear, it looks like you'll have to find another way back to Penelope. Oh no! I could have died it. I could have died it, you guys. You are at the top of the cliff. There are two paths heading down and a path heading up towards the bridge. You can also see an old scroll. Oh my god, we're gonna be casting magic spells, yo. Get scroll. Picked up the scroll. All right, we have scroll. Let's read it. Lost near the mighty boulder, my precious crystal ball. I guess I couldn't older, so I must have let her fall. If anyone should find it, please return it to my keep. Be careful if you use it, for its powers run deep. Signed, the old man. Okay, near a mighty boulder, there is a crystal ball. Okay. I know, right, Alaska? I was like, is that... is that corn on the cob? Like, what is that? <laughs> Iceland, good to see you! How you doing? Oh! This looks like a mighty boulder. You are at the base of the cliff path. You can also see a golden bell. Oh no, with the bells and the catnip again. Okay, so we have a bell. I mean, I'm, 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 keep, I'm keeping very close track of our items right there, see? That's a, that's a, a, a bullion cube, a, a m bunch of modeling clay, um, a, a water skin, a sandwich, a pin, or a needle. I don't know which, because they've said both, but they're different things. Uh, I'm gonna assume a needle. Um, a scroll, and uh, a bell. Uh, 
Yep. <clears throat> let's try ringing the bell. Ring bell. Ding dong. Nothing happens. Let's uh, let's save it. I forgot we have like a uh, save slots before something happens here. <laughs> oh, happy Saturday to you too, Iceland. Okay. Excuse me. You can see a fast running stream fed by a water vault to the right. I'm sorry. I have such indigestion. Uh, the water is too fierce to cross anywhere. On the other side of the waterfall, you can see a little path heading into the undergrowth. On the other side of the waterfall, there's a little path. Can we fill this with water? Fill flask with water. You fill the flask with ordinary water. Big deal. <laughs> okay. So we've got ordinary water. Hey, we could get thirsty. How about the drink water? Mmm, that really hit the spot. Now what about poor Penelope? Eh. Uh, fill flask with water. Okay, so we got we got some water in case we need it. We got water and a sandwich. We're good. We're going into tangled depths. You can't cross. The water is flowing too swiftly and you would surely be swept away to your doom. I wonder if there's a way to open up the waterfall. You like the animation on the waterfall, by the way? It's it's really it's really top notch, especially for 1992. Um, let's ring bell. Ding dong. Read scroll. Okay, I, I don't think the scroll's magical. Oh, there's a ghost! There's a ghost! <laughs> Nightmare eyes, you guys! There's a ghost! You are at the mouth of a cave. The cave is very gloomy inside. However, you can make out some steep stone steps heading upward. An evil spirit appears to be guarding the entrance. <laughs> no, dude! <laughs> it's a ghost shank ghost! <laughs> you cannot enter the cave while the evil spirit is guarding it. Talk. Get no reply. Ring bell. Nothing. Shank. Give sandwich to <laughs> spirit. Your polite offer is refused. <laughs> Spirit says, no thank you, I would not like a sandwich today. <laughs> Call an exorcist. Nothing happens. Call the Ghostbusters. Nothing happens. Ah, oh, Ghostbusters, you have failed me. That looks like a mighty boulder as well. You have reached a path which turns back on itself. Can we go into the boulder like other Hugo games? Is there like a secret... Secret path here? Oh! Oh my gosh! My my, we are we are thorough, aren't we? Well, just for you, there is a crystal ball lying behind the rock, glit glit glinting in the sun. You fetch it out. I don't think I ever found that before. Picked the crystal ball. <gasps> I just learned that from the first game. Like I'm like, there's something hidden between the rocks. Hans gets a flamethrower. <laughs> oh man. You should have laid on the ground with the ghost and felt like garbage for a moment. <laughs> Food tends to go right through, Mr. Spirit. I wonder if the crystal ball will do anything with the spirit. Look in crystal ball. Crystal ball appears cloudy. Use crystal ball. Give crystal ball to spirit. No. Burp, 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 
murder. Oh, really, Shadow? Did I type lock? Yeah, I, I, I think it accepts both. Like a, a common misspelling, it accepts. Oh, village. You are at the outskirts of a native village. Okay, let's save it. Does that say cat? I thought it said cat. I guess not. Well, let's go to the village. Hi! People! You are in the native's village. The witch doctor's hut lies to the right. You can see a wild beast being roasted over a fire, and at the rear of the village, some natives with a blowpipe. Oh! Umbawala unjumba. Hi, talk. You get no reply. Oh, I see you don't speak our tongue. I should have guessed from your strained clothes, I suppose. Anyhow, welcome to our little community here. No, don't be frightened. We're not headhunters or cannibals, you know. That's what they want you to think. Okay. No, although I must warn you most strongly not to venture into the witch doctor's hut. It's a full moon tonight and he tends to go rather crazy. Oh. Well, as you can see, we're cooking supper here. It's roast hyena again. We had the same thing yesterday and the day before. Roast hyena, huh? In fact, I can't remember when we didn't have roast hyena. It gets really boring, you know. If only there was something we could do to make it more interesting. Oh, I know what you could have to make it more interesting. You're not the first strangers we've had in our village, you know. No, not at all. <laughs> Hugo needs to live like this tribe. Uh, offer them Rose Penelope. I know, right? Like, oh, they all magically speak English. Not the sandwich. At first I thought the sandwich, but I'm going to give him the cubes. <laughs> Use clay on hyena. In fact, all the strangers were extremely friendly. Do you know every one of them offered us a gift of some sort? Hints, hints, nudge, nudge. Of course, we always give them something in return. A fair exchange is no robbery, as they say. <laughs> as who says here in the Amazon jungle? Where is the Amazon jungle? Is that in South America? Or is that in, like, Africa? Africa. Does Africa have, have jungles? I don't know. I bet Denmark does. Um, offer cubes. The native thanks you politely for your gift, but looks a little nonplussed. However, after you demonstrate its use on the meat, the natives are very grateful. The native hands you a blowpipe and some sleeping potion darts. Oh, man. How many is some sleeping potion darts? Okay, there we go. There's there's our blowpipe and a sleeping potion darts. Right there. And we'll cross off the cubes. <clears throat> um, careful with these. There's enough potion to put an elephant to sleep. Are you done talking to me yet? It's South America. <laughs> I wanted to quote that, but it kept getting worse. <laughs> oh, man. Ubisoft forgot to place lamps in Watch Dogs 2. <laughs> Eternal, I remember that show. I, I didn't really watch it, but I remember it. Hugo proceeds to poke himself with the sleeping darts. Elephants aren't in South America. What? <laughs> awesome. Oh dear. She will not let me near the roast hyena. 
I want to taste it. Look at her following me. Eat hyena. That would be a little impolite to say the least. Yeah, no reply. She is following me, man. Look at her. She's escorting me. Okay, so we got blow darts. Rambling Wombat, hello! Good to see you. Happy Saturday. Level up. Oh, oh, there's a spider. Slowly but surely, on my way to the two-year sub. Yay! Thank you so much, World Shaking. My uh, ascend. No, ascended. I'm losing track. My ascended Peach. Thank you so much. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Thank you for that resub. What is going on? Joe, <laughs> jump and fire. We were told not to go in here. You are outside the witch doctor's hut. Oh. Let's save it. Okay. Uh, let's let's continue exploring the jungle before we. Well, you know what? We did just save it. Screw it. Let's go into the witch doctor's hut. Off of the villages, roast duck. Last visitor was some kid in green named Ling to rob the village blind. Hee <laughs> hee, <laughs> gotcha. Uh, from this hour, you're in my power. Oh my goodness. Well... <laughs> well, <laughs> you are in the witch doctor's hut. You can see him over by his cooking pot. It looks pretty grim for you. You can also see a little cage. You can also see a golden candle. Golden candle. And a big ass spider. Are there penguins in Africa? I would say no. Peachy rip. GG, everyone. <laughs> Um. I know there is a way to get out of this. Um. Get no reply. Hee hee, just you keep quiet in your cage, my friend. There will be time enough for squawking when you're roasting in my pot. Oh, oh, I thought there was no- she said they were no cannibals. Um, offer sandwich. Plate offer is refused. Um, open cage. Hey, you stay put, yells the witch doctor. Oh! <gasps> Youch! The witch doctor just prodded you with his stick to make sure you think twice about opening the cage door again. Oh! Okay, so there's no lock on the door. And I see a candle in a small cage. Ask about candle? Open small cage. Oh. <laughs> Do it again. Oh, what about the? Mm, oh, what about the blow dart? Um, use blow darts on doctor. There's nothing here that you would want to shoot with your blowpipe. Yes, yes, there is. He's gonna eat me. Carefully put the cheese sand. Oh, it's a cheese sandwich inside the cage. Go on, Mr. Rat. Yes! The mouse runs excitedly over to the little cage and starts eating the remains of the cheese sandwich. The cage slams shut, trapping the mouse inside it. Yes! I don't know what that accomplished, but yes! You can eat rat instead of human tonight, Mr. Witch Doctor. <laughs> Get that food in your belly. <laughs> yes, yes, she said the witch doctor gets a little cranky during a full moon. I guess cranky means starts eating people. 
<laughs> Eat him first. Poke the witch doctor with a stick. Okay. So the mouse is trapped in the cage. Uh. Uh, what did that accomplish? Okay, so I don't have my sandwich anymore. Oh, offer crystal ball. No. What did that accomplish putting the putting the rat? Eat rat. There's no point. Uh Tell doctor to eat bread. He doesn't want to hear my squawking. Huh. Call your one true love, Igor, to help you. <laughs> um. Flirt with doctor. I don't understand. Um. Are those snakes on the floor? It's really creepy. Ring bell. Ding dong, nothing happens. Uh, rub crystal ball. Oh, what? what? The crystal glows with an inner light. As you peer into its center, you can see a picture forming. You can see an image of yourself swinging on some vines over a river in the jungle. Is that supposed to be a hint? Well, it doesn't do me much good if I'm in here. Seduce the doctor. No. <laughs> Offer doctor to eat shit. Talking mushrooms. Super sticky tofu. How's it going? What's up? Anybody got any ideas? I legit am not sure if I've ever gotten out of this cage. I have clay, a water skin with water in it, a needle, a scroll, uh, a bell, a crystal ball, and a blow dart with uh, sleeping darts, which I cannot use. I, don't give me the answer if you're just like, if you have a, a guide up, but if you, you know, if you legit, um, like, have a guess, because like, I want us to figure it out together. Not just someone to look up the answers for us. Unless we get, like, impossibly stuck. You have clay. I do have clay. Stealth mission out like Solid Snake. The, the cage is not locked, but every time I- if I go to open the cage door and walk out, the- the guy comes over and pokes me. Can you reach for the mouse? Grab mouse. Don't think you can while you're in the cage. <laughs> Proceed to eat clay. <laughs> Build a golem. What if when he comes over, because he comes over to the cage, can I like stick him with the sleeping dart? Uh, stick with dart. I can't. There's no point. Oh. Use blow dart on rat. There's nothing here that you would want to shoot with your blow pipe. Throw clay at the doctor. Um... Can you grab the snake? Probably not. Grab snake. <laughs> that would be the foolish act of a novice adventurer. <laughs> Use dart on self. <laughs> Too bad you missed! <laughs> wow. Wow. Use the clay for what? Use clay. Please be more specific. I don't know what on what. <laughs> Ask 
for a lawyer. <laughs> I want to speak with my lawyer. <laughs> Did I, I? I misspelled lawyer. Um. Throw something in the cooking pot? Um. Yeah, do I still- I gave boolean cubes to them. Did I give all of my boolean cubes to them? Needles, flask, blowpipes, oh, I did, yeah. Um, <laughs> assert fifth amendment rights. We're in the middle of the jungle. Transform into a magical girl. Mix clay and water. Hmm. <laughs> and have a sticky mess. <laughs> Rub <laughs> call Saul. <laughs> Rub clay on yourself. Um, cannot use the sleep dart on anything in here. We tried. It doesn't let us. Um, throw needles. <laughs> Why? I, I assume we can, like, you have to be able to catch the rat in the cage for a reason. Offer rat. Oh, the little mouse is very timid and will not approach you. However, you may be onto something. Well, I, I think that, that, well, obviously. Let's start throwing things. Throw crystal ball. I see no purpose. Throw... Clay. <laughs> Offer bell. Offer scroll. Read scroll. Same thing. It it's possible I did something out of order. I mean, it's that. I mean, as we know from these games, it's very possible that now that I'm in the cage, I'm just done. Like, there's certain things that I can do, but then this might be game over. I don't know. I'm just. I think it's weird that you can't blow dart the the, the doctor. <laughs> Become the mouse whisperer. Um. It's a witch doctor and you have clay. I, I don't understand what we could do with the clay. Offer oh, friendship. Rainbow moon heartache. <laughs> um. <laughs> Give up and accept your inevitable death. <laughs> Ask Igor to push button. Try walking there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, say the rat gave you a disease. Hmm, I don't taste good. <laughs> Try walking there. Um, <gasps> make a clay voodoo doll of the witch doctor and make him walk into the pot. Make a voodoo doll out of the clay. Make voodoo doll out of clay. No! Did you guys look that up? Don't- don't look things up. But- but seriously. Actually, we would have been stuck, so thank you. Uh, as if guided by on some unseen force, your hands quickly mold the- mold the clay into an effigy of the witch doctor. <laughs> Season yourself and wait for dinner. <laughs> what? Stick pins in... Uh, in... Voodoo doll. You stick pins into the effigy. You feel as if something dark and sinister just happened. He ran over here and then died. Wow. He's just dead?
Oh, did, did you guys say that earlier and I missed it? Wow. <laughs> Use finishing move. Wow, I never would have thought to make the clay into a, a, a voodoo doll. Never would have thought of that, ever. Kick him while he's down. <laughs> Loot corpse. Eh? Well. You can see him writhing on the floor where you managed to incapacitate him. You can also see a little cage, a golden candle. Can we, like... Oh, we just have the cage. Okay, I guess we're gonna need a rat in a cage. We we literally, like, put this rat in a cage in, in our pocket. That's really odd. And then... Shiny. Okay, I've, I've never gotten this. I've never done this. Loot everything. Taste soup. Eh? There's a spider right here. Like, this is. Talk to doctor. I will be. Wow. Okay. There we go. Never underestimate a man <laughs> with clay, I guess. <gasps> elephant! <gasps> oh, elephants are scared of mice. There's the elephant. You are on a jungle path. There is an elephant here who appears to be resting. It appears quite content and takes no notice of you. Author's note, yes, I know there are no elephants in the Amazon. This one just escaped from a zoo. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. So I'm assuming... But, like, do we want him to move? Or, because I think you are able to... Use the blow dart on him and it just puts him to sleep for no reason because he's just standing there. But I'm guessing that the, the mouse is for to make him move. Ah, uh, stupid chat frozen. Why? Why is it doing that? Give me one <laughs> ride elephant. <laughs> oh, I should have thrown the doctor into the pot. Um, give me one second to, to kind of re, uh, re apply this chat box here. Let me see if that fixes it. <clears throat> Why would you talk to the elephant? <laughs> Why would I not talk to the elephant? It's the handsome Hugo. It's big gray and looks extremely heavy. See, I wonder if we have to like make the elephant stampede or something. Oh. You have reached the banks of the fast running stream. If there used to be a bridge here, it has long since disappeared. Looking into the water, you notice many small red fish, which you recognize instantly as flesh-eating piranhas. Some n very narrow stepping stones cross the stream. Looks much like any other water. This is where we swing across the vines. The vines look pretty sturdy. Swing across vines. You grab the vine and start... Oh, Hugo, you have a mighty roar. My goodness. <laughs> Eat the stones. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh my god. You're on a path which leads to a river crossing on the right and a cliff top on the left. Is there anything else here? 
No. <laughs> I heard stampede. Okay, so that I thought it looped around, so that's where this goes. Okay, so... I'm assuming this isn't the stream that we get the magic water from. Since it's got, like, piranhas in it. Um... So do we still have that voodoo doll? We... We still have the needles, but we don't have... Uh, we do still have the clay, actually. Oh, yeah. Rub crystal ball. The crystal glows with an inner light. As you peer into it, you can see an enormous elephant stampeding through the jungle. Wow, so that crystal ball is, like, gonna give us hints. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I did the biggest misspelling of a cross ever, and it still worked. Ooh, will the candle scare away the evil spirit? Maybe. Release mouse. I don't fully understand. Drop mouse. No, you'll be needing it. Scare elephant with mouse. There's no point. Uh... Drop cage. Open cage. Oh, that animation though. The little mouse has scared the elephant. You watch in amazement as the elephant lumbers off in the direction of the stream. Whoa, yes, I've never done that before. I never knew you could pick up the mouse. I actually, I never got out of the cage. The elephant wades right through the stream. You notice with some amusement how the stream became totally dammed while the elephant passed through it. The stream starts to flow normally again as the elephant disappears into the distance, never to be seen again. Okay. Oop, oh, the mouse won't let you. So the mouse is just gonna wander around. <laughs> Drop your hot mixtape. Hi, Peachy Moon. I'm doing well. How you doing today? Make voodoo dolls of everything. The elephant, what, dammed the river for a second and then it ran off? Do I have to, like, blow dart it first or something? Ah, you are on a jungle path. You notice a large depression in the ground as if a large creature had recently been resting there. You can also see a little cage. Okay. Ooh. A little depression in the ground. The picture is very strange. You can see an enormous elephant stampeding through the jungle. Maybe he did something else to another one of the um, uh, things. <laughs> That is beyond amazing. Good, I'm glad, Peachy Moon. Hi, Thomas! Hmm. I'm gonna walk around and see if something else changed. I hope I didn't do that in the wrong order. The elephant just kind of ran off. I wonder if I had to use the blow dart on it first? And then, like, make it sleepy, and then once it runs off, maybe it'll, like, it would stop somewhere? I couldn't grab the mouse. No, not yet, Dominci. Um. I don't have the sandwich anymore, so I don't know if I can get the rat back in the cage. I don't, I don't know if I need it. Apparently the elephant's gone. Um... So 
already lit. Scare off this spirit. Hmm. Hey, Precure Lover. Yeah, we, Penelope, we crash landed in the jungle. Penelope got bitten by a spider, and she's gonna die in 48 hours unless we get this, like, life water for her. I think we did something wrong with the elephant, because... What's the point of moving the elephant? Are you going to talk to me? No. I tried the bell. Stab doctor with needle. You won't achieve anything by sticking the pins there. Sure I will. Pick up doctor. Don't push your luck. Put doctor in pot. I think I did something wrong. I want to try... Unfortunately, I don't think I saved it. Um, did I save it after the witch doctor thing? I don't think I did. That's alright, we know what to do now. Here. Yeah, I'm gonna try the elephant thing. I'm gonna try hitting it with a, with a sleeping dart and then releasing the mouse. Put cheese in cage. Come on. Save it. You save this. And <laughs> now try and seduce the doctor. Okay, um, blow dart at elephant. You shoot the elephant with a sleeping dart. After a while, the sleeping potion has its effect. The elephant falls fast asleep. Uh, now release the mouse? The mouse runs around for a little while, but fails to make any impression on our snoozing elephant. Climb on elephant? Climbing is not your strong point and you fail miserably. What can we do with this? Why would we want to put the elephant to sleep? Or why would we want to release a mouse but not get rid of the elephant? Try 
drop the cage, then shoot the elephant, and then open cage? What would that accomplish? Supposed to shoot the dart after he starts moving. Oh, because there is some time there. Yeah, I bet you're right. I bet you're right. And so then he stops in the river. That's that's good. That's good. <laughs> okay, first of all, let's drop the cage. Um, and now, open cage. Okay. Shoot elephant with dart. Ah! I can't type that fast with these prompts coming up. Darn it. <laughs> shoot, shoot. <laughs> I think that's it though. I think that's it. It's just hard to time it because of the prompts interrupting your typing. Okay, um, let's save it here, and now, um, open cage. You shoot the elephant with a sleeping dart. The effect of the sleeping potion is in the dart is starting to have an effect on the elephant. It slows down and eventually stops right in the middle of the stream, damming the water completely. Good job, guys! <laughs> Shoot! Good job, guys. Harvest- yeah. No! My PG chain! Harvest elephant tusks! No! That's terrible. The stream appears to have been damned rather effective, efficiently by a large elephant, which appears to be sleeping peacefully. What about the piranhas? I thought there were piranhas. Okay, so let's go find out what that did. See how exciting a DOS game can be? This is amazing. Yeah, if, if the if the score is any indication, then we are like this was a really short game. Oh, that'll stop the waterfall. Wow. Okay. You are at the waterfall base. The water appears to have stopped running, although the banks of the stream are too muddy to be negotiated. It looks like you might be able to get across some stones at the base. Too muddy? What? Wait, did I save it? I gotta save it. <laughs> Thank you, Imperator. Whoa! Oh, you have arrived at the secret garden. The pool of rejuvenating water is here, among some very beautiful wild orchids which have grown huge thanks to the magic powers of the water. Wow! Nice! This is a magic pool. Um, put water in flask. Uh, let's just drink water. You fill the flask with the magical water. Yay! Okay, we got magic water. 
<laughs> oh, absolutely, Iceland. Yeah, and that's why I don't want anybody looking up the answers. I want us to legit figure this out on our own. Mm hmm. We've had a flask ever since the beginning. There was um, stuff in the plane. Just in time, you can hear the thunder of water as the stream starts to flow again. The elephant must have awakened and moved off. Oh, okay. How do I get in this cave? <laughs> oh, you can't mold the clay into something else? Oh, the ghost cave might be a way back to Penelope. That's right, because we can't go back the way we came. So, how, the question now is how to move this ghost. So, we have... We have the clay. We have the the clay in the in the voodoo uh, voodoo doll. Needles, the flask of water, the blowpipe, the scroll, the crystal ball, which we can look into, the bell, which we haven't used, and the candle, which we haven't used. You can see an image of yourself swinging over vines. Okay. Um, yeah, we have the candle and the bell. Put bell on candle. Uh, nothing happens. It's got to be a combination of the bell and the candle. But I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm not, <laughs> I, I don't have enough knowledge about, uh, like, <laughs> spirit rituals. Hi! Happy Saturday! Hope you're doing well. <laughs> the candle is lit. I have a lit candle in my pocket. We haven't necessarily used... We used the scroll to find the crystal ball. We haven't necessarily used the crystal ball for anything. It was kind of giving us hints when we rubbed it. But like, that was it. There's a bunch of <clears throat> vines. Set vines on fire. Bye Wurzel, have a good weekend. Set ghost on fire. There was an old man who wants the crystal ball, but I don't know who that is. Oh, the candle could be used to light your way in the cave, that's true. Use the candle and the bell to MacGyver the Ghostbuster weapon. <laughs> Take care, Pico. Bye-bye. Hold on. Let me see what else I can interact with over here. Just, just the spirit, really. Oh, vine. Vines look pretty sturdy.
I was hoping that he'd like focus on something other than me and then I could get past him, you know what I mean? Make doll of Hugo. Hi, Casimir. This is this is Maguma as it was uh, twenty years ago. <laughs> Mary goes. <laughs> Make friends with Ghost and ditch Penelope. Oh no! I must forgive the Ghost his all his sins. I, I did uh, burn vine. I tried that. Hmm. Offer the magic water, maybe? No. Um... Were there other things we missed? Possibly. I did try ringing the bell. <laughs> Ask goes to move. You get no reply. He does not talk to us. <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> Say boo. Boo. Eh? Eh? I feel like there's some, like, ancient ritual about a bell and a candle that I should know about. Well, the crystal ball wasn't telling us anything new. I wonder if there is someone we can give the crystal ball to and maybe they'll give us a hint or something or, so or another item. Um, uh, drop. Somebody come and... Somebody... Nothing out of the ordinary. Nothing out of the ordinary. Whose crystal ball is this? Cloudy. Hugo games? Hmm. I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> Peachy Chan. She is topless. They live in the Amazon jungle where it's very hot. I might be ready for a uh, hint. How do we move the ghost? I liked my idea of putting the voodoo doll on the ground and seeing if it would, you know, keep guarding. Maybe if I throw the voodoo doll? I'm gonna try throwing the voodoo doll into the cave. To search everywhere for something I missed. Throw doll into cave. No. Hmm. Oh my god, if that old man who gave us the quiz is in this game. <laughs> 
or crush the voodoo doll and kill the witch doctor? Mmm. <laughs> You can interact with the vines. It does, like, tell us that the vines are there. Tie vines around ghost. What? There are! There are vines right there. <laughs> oh, Caspi! Scare the ghost. Scare the ghost! Boo! Thank you so much for the peaches. I appreciate it. Much love to you, Casimir. Thank you so much. <laughs> Scare the ghost. Oh! 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 There are three things required to perform an exorcism. You do not have all of them. What? That's the first time I've seen that. Okay, so we are missing something. Okay, so a bell, a candle, and what else do we need to perform an exorcism? I don't know, I would think a crystal ball, a candle, and a bell would be- would be good. Okay. Oh my god, Casimir! <laughs> a bell, a candle, and a cheese sandwich. <laughs> wow, good guess, Casimir. Alright, well at least that gave us a hint. Yep. Yep, we missed something. There's still something. I still think- Maybe we have to give the crystal ball to someone, but I don't know who. Granted, I didn't walk up to every single person in the village and say, offer crystal ball. So I'm gonna try that. <laughs> oh, jeez. The blood of a virgin? So, so, so Penelope. I just upped my score. My score went up by swinging across the vines. <gasps> we need a sacrifice. <laughs> we need a sacrifice. How do I get the, the mouse back in the cage? I can't get the mouse back in the cage. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna write rub ball. Oh! There we go. This, apparently I needed the swing on the vines one more time. Uh, it is the old man, the owner of the crystal ball. He has a smile on his face as he beckons you to him. Well, where is he? Unless he's in the cave. Maybe he takes us home. He's got- is, is he supposed to have gray hair? Maybe this is him. Nope. No one wants my ball. Get away from me! I bet the old man's in the cave. I, I've tried giving it to the witch doctor. Maybe. Awesome overlord. Is she uh, is she a black kitty? <laughs> the roasted hyena didn't want the crystal ball. <laughs> um Ask Doctor about spirit. Yeah, he Take pin out of doll. No, he's he's just forever screwed. Aw, you've got a real Luna. 
Right, but what old man wants the crystal ball? I don't know what old man they're talking about. I, that's why I'm guessing the old man is in the cave. So we're not there yet. But we need something else to perform an exorcism. One of the skulls? <laughs> I wouldn't touch that if I were you. My guess. No, because then we wouldn't have the mouse. get the mouse I don't know why but I keep thinking it's a sacrifice because that's the, an item that we don't have is the mouse I mean maybe the cage we can pick up the cage uh oh well the mouse is stuck it's more useful where it is for now there's got to be a way to get the mouse back in the cage Bell. <sighs> you should go north to Bobby and find Lissa and ask her for help. <laughs> Is it peanut butter? You <laughs> we broke the mouse, you guys. I don't think there's any place we haven't been. And the if if it's true that we're looking for a book. I don't know where else we would find a book than here. Unless it's one of these, like, we can walk behind the house. And see, he's labeled hut. He's labeled as native. We need someone labeled as old man. You're looking at what appears to be a hut made of wood from the jungle. The hut has proved incredibly useful to the natives over the years as means of shelter. It is good to find someone interested in these kinds of things that most other people would find ordinarily boring. Oh, thank you. This is nut sampling for you. Thank you so much, my love. Enjoy. I will. Thank you. <laughs> Look, it's a gr it's a granola nut yogurt. Get that food in your belly. <laughs> I blame peanuts for this. What's up, Greek? It's going well. It's going well. Except for not being able to find a book. Yeah, I I haven't seen a book. <laughs> Mouse Chan hasn't been the same since Nam. <gasps> so, were there books in here? Nope, just like potions. You can see a large cooking pot being heated by a fire. Whatever it's cooking, it smells revolting. It's cooking people! It's a jungle out there! Where is book? Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> Damn it! I think we might need a, a, a hint. I think we might need a hint. I have no idea. 
We tried searching the doctor. You did, Kite. A lot of people have sent me books, actually. with anything because if there was like random bush that we could search or something it would it would be highlighted when we cursor over it so I'm just gonna go and, and cursor everything okay we already went behind the waterfall we have the magic water hi lore Maybe Archer has the answer in his how-to book. You know, I read a, a couple chapters of that, uh, the Archer book you sent me. Um, the, the biggest problem with the book is, like, it's funny and stuff, but the biggest problem is, like, the first, like, three chapters are, like, almost nothing but Archer complaining about the fact that he has to write a book. It's like, okay, stop complaining about it already and just get to the book. Like, there was way too much... Oh, uh, they're making me write a book. I was like, okay, I get it. Yeah, I looked behind the rock to find the crystal ball. have to be in the in the in a mood to read it. Oh, I can totally get that. I could totally get that. I'm guessing stones are highlighted just because if I hop across the stones and it'll be like, "Oh, the piranhas eat your face." But at this point, I have no idea what else to do, so You gotta save there. Okay, you start to cross the stream on the stepping stones. Partway across, you realize this was not a good idea as the piranhas on the stream start nibbling at your feet. You hurriedly return to the shore. There's no bushes to check behind. self to piranhas. Um, I don't know. The scroll didn't tell us where the old man was. Okay, we don't have the mouse in the cage. I'm lost, guys. I don't know what to do. I need, I need some help. One was highlighted? Here? Oh! Bull rushes? What? Searching behind the plants near the water, you find an old worn book. You fetch it. What? The book is old and very worn. The pages, although yellow with age, still have discernible writing on them. You feel the book has hidden power. Random book behind random bush in the woods. What? 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 Okay, game. Whatever you say. You read various spells from the old book, but nothing interesting happens. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Except it made the the mouse lose its mind. Wow. That was um. Okay. 
<laughs> this is a jungle, not the woods. <laughs> oh, jeez. But uh, but is it as cryptic as rubbing catnip on a bell? <laughs> Cause time to bust some ghosts. All right, here we go. Time to bust some ghosts. Watch out. Read book. You gather the bell and the candle together and read the spell from the old page in the book. Whoosh! An icy blast of air sweeps past you as the evil spirit is banished for good. Yay! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> ah, we meet again, Shane. my friend. Methinks I was a little hard on you the last time we met. So fancy the tables shall be turned this time. I know. Let us play a guessing game, but this time you will ask the questions and I will answer. If I answer correctly, you may pass. What a wonderful idea! Right. Hold something in your hands without showing me and I'll have three guesses. Ready? Okay, here's my first guess. Is it an elephant? No. Hmm. This is trickier than I thought. No matter, I'll try again. Is it a jewel-encrusted egg? No. Ah, in that case, I fancy I have the answer. Is it a flask of magic water? Yes! Splendid! You win, my boy. Go upward on yonder rocks, and you will emerge on the path to your sweetheart. Hurry now. The old man beckons you on. As you pass the old man, he whispers in your ear, Ah, I thought I'd never see my crystal ball again. I'll just take it off your hands. I really am most grateful to you, my boy. What is this guy? You guys... <laughs> is that supposed to be the old guy from the first two games who asked us the questions and who Penelope, like, punched out? Wow. Oh, he winked at me! Oh, oh, he winked at me. Oh, I thought this was gonna be like an adventure inside that cave. That was very disappointing. Nope. Oh, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> I got the magic water. Feed water to Penelope. <laughs> she don't want no magic water. Give flask. You administer the remedy. Bye, Talus. Take care. <laughs> Music from the first game. The rejuvenating powers of the magic water revive our sweet Penelope. Your trip merrily back. You trip merrily back to the plane, fill it with gas from the spare tank, and fly off homeward into the sunset. As we say farewell to Hugo and Penelope for the last time. No, we ain't making any more of these games. Let's hope they make it home this time. Hugo's Amazon Adventure, yeah, not Jungle of Doom. Bye. I love how all the all the um, all the names are changed. David P. Gray. Thank you, thank you for these games. It just needed gas. I know, right? <laughs> oh, Always we didn't have to go through any of that if we would have. If Penelope would have just stayed put. And we put gas in the freaking plane. <laughs> and then more Dramov happened. <laughs> Pull him out of the sky like like the pact. Oh my god. How funny. <laughs> it should have been called the Jungle Book. <laughs> oh my god. Too good. That's too good. <laughs> Sailor Galaxia attacks the plane. Penelope always getting into trouble. Oh my god.
which was my favorite. Um, I, I, I think my favorite will always be the first one, just because that's the one that I played the most as a kid. And, you know, just it being the original, and you had this whole house to explore. And, like, most of the things made sense. Although I gotta give number two um, some points, because Doctor Who, even though it had a crap ending. Um, and number three was good. I felt like number three was a little short, but other than that, it was good. <laughs> no FNAF 2. The OP puppy, yes, the, that's, yeah, the first game had the OP puppy as well. <laughs> yeah, the second one had a lame ending, and it had that maze. Yeah, number three was short. Biscuit was the best character, the puppy was the best character, yes. The, the only, the 